Hey, how you doing there, Mr. Rongish? No, we didn't. Here come your lions! Welcome, Lion fans, Hutchinson, Kansas, the Hutchinson Sports Arena. Hi, State Dale Leach. Championship Basketball. Hello, Trace Craig. Dale Leach, 52 years of age. Can it get any better than this at 52? Okay. 52. Only if we keep winning. Here we are, Hutchinson, Kansas. We're back in the state tournament for the second time in four years. I'm excited, Dale. Definitely. I'm here, too. I've just been on pins and needles ever since uh, Substate. We've got Cimarron Blue Jays tonight. We don't know much about Cimarron, except they come out there from around Dodge City. Halfway between Dodge City and Garden City. Uh, it was a ford on the on the Arkansas River, the Arkansas River, on the Santa Fe Trail. How about that? That's what it's, that the is famous for. Well, it sounds like a heck of a deal. In Minneapolis, we're the city of waters. Yeah. But right now, we're the city of basketball. Uh, they we'll are have a work cut out tonight, folks. They are a good sized team. They're, they got three six five guys and a six two guy that's easily 250, 260 pounds that plays inside. This is a Wednesday night. We're in Hutchison Sports Arena. First night of the 3A state championship tournament. I've watched Burlington dispatch. Who was it? <laughs> Can't even remember now. Oh, Garden Plain, where uh, Coach John Darrow Sr. coaches as the girls coach, and then uh, Riley County dispatched Kansas City Christian. So we hope to see the Minneapolis Lions dispatch the Cimarron Blue Jays tonight. Minute 20 till opening introductions. We don't know much about Cimarron, but we're about ready to find out. They are a sub-state champion, so they have to have some kind of good enough, good basketball to him. Coach Williams, Coach Shoup, Coach Harris, coaches for the Minneapolis Lions. Here he goes the Lions, man. I'm going to tell you right now, no matter what happens tonight, this is, is a great high school team. Oh, one of the best Minneapolis has had. We're 21-2. That's the second best record in the school history. 10-0 league. It's the only team, it's only the second team has gone undefeated in league. They're the highest scoring team, highest scoring team in school history, 1,731 points. And they've got the greatest uh, scoring differential over opponents. We're averaging 20 point victories over our opponents. As John Kerry says, bring it on. Mm -hmm. And they're defending back to back NCAA champions. The Lions will be in home, home white tonight. And then these stars. Blue Jays, who are 19-4, the assistant coach, George Fowler. Blue Jays are 19-4. Yeah, 
All senior starters. All senior starters on the squad. They better do her this year, Daddy O. But not at the expense of our Lions. That's right. Let's make some noise, people. Let's make some noise. Starting guard for the Lions. Jack the Ripper. Ryan Weedle. Brandon Crum. Mr. Slick. Josh Lott. Where the ball is, Lott is. Big Luke. The kids improved every year I've ever seen him play ball. Coach. Bring it on. Dale, I got a lot of room to move around up here. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm, I'm not near as crowded as we are in some places, are we? No, we got breathing room. Once again, this is Trace Curry and Dale Leach bringing you this state tournament game. We're both graduates of MHS, Dale in the 1970. I followed in 1971. And I think they thought about closing down school after that, didn't they? Something like that. All right, folks, both teams have taken the court. But fortunately, they didn't, despite losing two outstanding classes. Folks, we're just seconds away from the tip-off. We're back in the state tournament, folks. If you can't get excited about that, then just go to bed. Luke Weedle to jump for the Lions. 6-7 against 6-5. There's a toss. Blue Jays have it. Crumb, man to man. He's guarding Coles. Cimarron down deep. I'll tell you what, that guy went through there like a freight train. He will all night until they start calling fouls on him. He's big. Oh, pass. Ball belongs to the Lions. What'd you say, Dale? He will all night till they start calling fouls on him. God. If you're six foot three, 260 pounds, you'll move around too. That will. <laughs> Crumb didn't bound the ball to Luke Weedle. No good. Blue Jays come away with the rebound. Crumb! Oh, by Crumb. Foul. Yeah! Yes, the bucket's good. The thief is in action. <laughs> A natural born thief. <laughs> He's a pickpocketer. <laughs> 727 left. First quarter. Lions first to score. Two to nothing. Brandon Crum at the line. Yes. Lions, three nothing. Blue Jays with the ball. Full court pressure by the Lions. We got the big 5-0. Coles has the ball. Oh. Mortimer with almost a steal. He's hustling as usual. Hustling 100% and more. If the team's not ready for our defense, they can get blown out. Blue Jay ball. Out front to Coles. Small has it. 
calls. Yes. Tie ball game, three to three. Weedle from downtown. Kaboosh! That was downtown for sure. Small has it. Back to Coles. Over to Campbell. Small has it. Steal by, by Mott. No. It's, oh, we can't have that, guys. Six to three, Lions lead. 6-13 left, opening quarter. Campbell has the ball. He puts it up from 10. In. Good Six shot. Five. Get outside shot for a 6-5 fella. Lions will inbound the ball. It'll be Ryan Mortimer. Out to Weedle. Ryan dribbles from downtown. Kaboom! You leave me open, I'll kill you. He had 31 the other night, folks. The kid's a natural shooter. Nine to five, Lions lead there. Out of bounds. Ball belongs to the Lions. Weedle with the ball. He's a sophomore. Over to Mortimer Jr. Lot loves it into Luke Weedle. Luke, he's blocked. And fouled. Foul on Ledford. Number 20. How tall is 20? Is he one of their 6'5 boys? How tall is 20? Is he one of their 6'5 boys? 6'1. 6'1. He's just a tiny one. Mm -hmm. Short, Luke, short. We gotta have him, buddy. Let's go. Lions lead nine to five. Five twenty-four left. Opening quarter. He hits a second. Ten to five. Lions lead. Full court pressure. Small has it. He don't know what to do with it. Well, there he. Yeah, he threw it away. Josh Lott. Easy, Josh. Brandon Crum. Back to Josh Lott for three. Short. Nobody there for the rebound. Small gets it. Gives it back to Coles. Coles brings it up. Across the center court. Campbell. Into Small. He'll try to back in. He's walking all over the place. He'll be anchoring an offensive line at Fort Hayes State in the future, from what I understand. Well, nice play there, boy. Campbell. Weedle from 15. Yes! He's on fire. I hope he stays that way. 12 to 7. No, Lions no, nobody snuff him out. Mortimer, Mr. Hustle. Trump's gonna get it. Oh, Brandon. Back to Campbell. Oh, Ryan Mortimer with the foul. That was a tough break for the Lions. With 4-12 left, opening quarter. First team foul, first personal. Cimarron has two team fouls. Coles with the ball. Off Josh Lott. Blue Jay. Off Josh Lott. We're halfway through the first quarter. Lions lead by five. 12 7 state tournament. Into Coles. Into Small. He'll 
He finds Campbell from six feet, turn around. He gets his own rebound. He's a player, folks, I can tell that already. There's Josh Lott. He's fouled. Number 20. Number 50. Well, he had to 50. Mr. Small. Nothing too small about him, actually. Hmm? Nothing too small about him, actually. Excuse me, number, number 20. There was 20. On the foul, you're right, Dale. Lot <laughs> makes first of two. 346 left. There comes Joe Zucker in for Mortimer. Josh Lott shoots one more free throw. It's up. No good. Luke Guido gets a rebound. Now Luke fouled. Well. You got to get it in the first time or you're a sitting duck on the fouls. I hated to see that, Dale. Yep. Full court pressure. They're going to try a long pass to Campbell. Oh. oh, that was a lucky break for a Blue Jay. Yeah, it sure was. Must caught Ryan blinking there. Let's see, Brad Kaiser comes in for Josh Lott. Balls into Coles. Into Campbell. That's a good post player. 50, number small, number 50, small gets a foul. Bucket counts. At 32, some post player. Who got the foul, Dale? Small. Oh, Mr. Small, number 50. 13 to 11, Lions lead by two. 318 left, opening quarter. Zucker, over to Kaiser, to Weedle. Get that head fake, Zucker. Out to Luke Weedle. Over to Crum. Zucker. Back, back to Weedle. Tie ball game, folks. Thirteen thirteen. Cimarron goes wild. Crum from downtown, too hard, no good. Kaiser with the rebound, back to Crum. Two minutes, 30 seconds left, opening quarter, Weedle. Zucker, Crum. Crum lost it and stole it again to Luke Weedle. Yes! Lions lead, 15-13. Mr. Small has the ball. We're under two minutes. Mr. Six Foot Five needed to be six foot ten. He was a little blue jay, yeah, couldn't get her. Little Joe Zucker got in his way and he couldn't go get the ball. Yep. Cameron Knox comes in for uh, Kaiser. Mortimer's back in the game, Lott's back in the game. Weedle with the ball, Ryan. Over to Zucker, to Knox. Weedle from downtown, kaboom! Ooh, that's three of them this half. Maybe four, I can't remember. <laughs> oh! Traveling! I would think so. Time out, Coach Williams. With a minute 32, first quarter, 18-13. And I think Ryan's, Ryan's, Ryan's got to have at least 11 or 12 of those. Dale? Dale? What, what, what? Are you aware that I attended college here? Yes. Yes. 
Are you aware I did not graduate? I well, I didn't think you did, but I wasn't yeah, sure of that. I did not. I I got deterred. 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 Well, I graduated from Cloud County. My folks said I was running with the wrong crowd. <laughs> that happens. That happens. They didn't know who they were. They just knew it was the wrong crowd. <laughs> we're back to action, folks. Weedle with the ball. Lions lead by five. Ryan's had a heck of a quarter. There's Lot back to Crum. Weedle. Oh, he wanted to. Back to Crum. In the loop. In the Cameron Knox. Foul. Foul on 50, I think. He gets number two. Cameron Knox shows the line for two. Yep, second person on 50. He's going to be coming out too. 19-13, six point lead for the Lions. Minute 16 left, first quarter. They've got another one of their 6'5 players in there, number 51. That a boy, Cameron. Hey, Cameron, way to shoot, buddy. Lions, seven point lead. Combs with the ball, Coles with the ball, I mean. He guarded by Mortimer. In the Campbell. He, he walked. But we must have fouled him, too. <laughs> well, I guess, but. Josh Lott, foul number one. Third team foul. Blue Jays have five. Coles has the ball. Nothing. Josh Lott there for the rebound. Oh, come on, guys. Think better care of it. Coach says think. I wanted to set, I wanted one last shot, Dale. Coach says, thank. That's 52 seconds left in the first quarter. Down to 45 now. Holes. Wow. 30 seconds to go. There's Crum. I'll tell you, he uses the glass like a pro. 22-15, 20 seconds to Better go in the quarter. Pro. Seven point lion lead, 16 seconds left. I like it, I like it. They like to go to Mr. Campbell, don't uh -huh. they? Uh-huh. You can see that. Well, why wouldn't they? Really? They're having trouble. Lions get the ball. Five second count. Five second count. First time I've seen one of those today. Luke Weedle set to come in, 11 seconds to go. Place Cameron Knox. So is that moose? Is that what they're saying? Moose. That's right. Moose. Ryan Weedle with the ball. Ten seconds left. Over to Brandon Crum. He got six seconds. Uh, Weedle over the back. No call. That's the end of the first quarter. Lions with a seven-point lead. 22-15. I'll take it.
here come the Lions. Inbound the ball at the beginning of the second quarter with the possession arrow. From to Weedle. Mortimer drives, kicks it back to Crum. Here comes three. Swish! It's 25 15, a 10 point advantage for the Lions. Crum goes for a steal and fouls. I feel better. Good. <laughs> The fourth team foul. First personal on Brandon. Steal by Ryan Weedle down to Brandon. Yes, Brandon. Time out. Lions. The Lions have extended the lead to 12 here early in the second quarter. We're on. 27 to 15 Lions with a 12 point lead. 7-17 left till halftime. I like what I like see so far, Dale. Yes, yes. Our normal our normal quick defense is paying the dividends. I, yes. You know, I've I've watched two other good squads today. Riley County is the closest to what I've seen us. Burlington, they're good shooters. They just don't play the defense we play. Uh, our defense, I haven't seen anybody yet to play defense like we do. Of course, we'll see what Hillsborough does. I'll watch them a little while tonight. Okay, folks, we're don't about wanna, ready. Don't want to get home too late. <laughs> Not the spring chicken I used to be. No, you're not. You're getting to be closer to Social Security every day. <laughs> if it's left when we get there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Campbell inbounds the ball. He gives a roar ball over to Coles. Coles. He's their playmaker. He's a good ball player, that Campbell. Mortimer for Weedle. Three pointers blocked. And Brandon Crump picks up foul number two. Well, 15 foul. Evens the score, evens the fouls for the teams, five each. Six minutes, 46 seconds left. First half action. Joe Zucker replaces Mortimer. 27-17. Coles has a ball guarded by Weedle. Into Mr. Small. Small. Boy, he horse that over Luke. He reminds me of a shack, a white shack. Yeah, he took a third quick step there. Well, the Lions here run into a little bit of a snag. 27-19. Double dribble. Luke with a big, hey. a big rebound. Small gets foul number three. Mr. Small has three fouls. Weedle with the ball. Ryan over to Crum. Zucker. Weedle. And I think he'll get three free throws. He'll shoot three.
Josh Schlott, I guess, was already in the game. Got some instructions from Coach. Ryan's an 86% free throw shooter. Ouch. 27-19, Lions hold an eight-point lead with 6.04 left, first half action. He'll shoot two more. He can increase the lead to 10 if he can make this one, Mr. Leach. Well, Ryan. Missed two or three. Rebound to Cimarron. You won't see that happen very often. 28-19. The Wichita Eagle today, refer, one of the riders referred to Ryan oh, as, right. as uh, one of the phenomenal sophomores in the state of Kansas. Phenomenal sophomore. I can't even pronounce the word. <laughs> and he is. Uh, who comes in? Uh, Kite, or no, Atkins comes in for Weedle. 5.52 left. Minneapolis has the ball. Crumb crosses center court. Off to Zucker. Into Weedle under the bucket. Yes! Yes, yes Luke Weedle. 30 to 19. Campbell, turn around. He's good, folks. No mistake about it. 30 to 21, Lions. Uh-oh. Crumb got his pocket picked. All right. <laughs> 32 got a foul. Good deal. I like that. Yep. He's been a little too aggressive. Here comes double lot. Wonder if he's relation to Ostertag from KU. <laughs> a little smaller. Huh? He's a little smaller. Yeah, a little smaller. Eighth team foul on, boy, where'd that come from? They were five, once zoomed from five to eight all of a sudden. One on one for Crum. Come on, Brandon. Yes, we got the bounce. Bounced over the front of the rim. Ryan Weedle replaces Zucker. Atkins. Or, no, Atkins came back in. Okay. 31-21. One more shot for Brandon. In. Nailed them both. 11-point lead for the Lions. Coles with the ball. Guarded by Brandon. Across the center court. Ledford has it. Back to Coles. He'll shoot from downtown. It's off. off. Way off. And 20 knocks it out of bounds on the rebound attempt. 11 point lead for the Lions, 32 21. Weedle with the ball. 451 left till half. He crosses center court. Cameron Knox is set to come in. Big Luke, he'll take it. He's fouled. 51 gets him. Ninth team foul. Luke will go to the line for two. And Knox was going to replace Luke, I'm sure. He sits down on the floor because he can't come in because Luke's shooting. Yes, Luke Weedle. 12 point Lion lead. Oh, bounce out. Oh. Lott got away with the foul over the back. Blue Jay ball. Blue Jay fans didn't like it a bit. Oh. Crum. Yes, Brandon Crum, left-handed. Left-handed layup. Uses the glass, I'm telling you, folks. He knows how to use it. 35-21, traveled. Kicked All out right. of bounds by Crum. <laughs> Knox comes in for Luke Weedle. Crum knocks it away. They had an inbounds pass set up under the basket. Four minutes, 13 seconds, first half. Lions, 14-point lead. There's a Blue Jay out of control. Weedle knocks it away. 
They get it back, put up a five-footer. Well, so 51's yeah. over the back again. Cameron Knox goes to the line again for another. This will be the 10th foul, so they'll have a double bonus. Knox is a 44% free throw shooter. He's 100% tonight. Oh, Crum. Crum was fouled. That's even better. Crum's a 70% free throw shooter. Kaiser comes in for Josh Lott. 401 to go in the half. Made them both. 16 point lead with four minutes left till half. Coles has the ball across the center court. Crumbs on him. Oh, lucky break for a Blue Jay. Time out, Blue Jays. Trailing by 16 with 3.44 to go. I like it. In the second quarter. Been an impressive half so far, Dale. Very, very impressive, especially the second quarter. Especially the second quarter. Yes, there's no doubt about that. I'd sure like to keep this lead all the way to the end of the first half. You 16 bet. points, I like it. Just keep increasing it. Just keep increasing. Josh Lott and Luke Wheeler are set to come back in the game. Here comes Ryan Mortimer. I'd like to see Ryan get cut loose on some, yep. some of his two-pointers. Yep. All right, there's a sound that says both teams please come back out. There comes your Lions, folks. Great team. All right, Weedle. Well, that would disturb the big boy there. Yes, sir. There's Mort in the Josh Lot. What a block. Boy, he was sailing through the air, wasn't he? Yes, he did. Mercy, Mr. Campbell. That was rude. Oh. He didn't have it. She wasn't set. I couldn't tell. Well, I'm telling you. Cameron Knox comes in for Luke. Luke leaves with the second foul personal. But that's my opinion only. 16 foul on the Lions. It would have been traveling if it hadn't been a foul. Coles with the ball. 3.15 left till half. Ball zoned by Mortimer. Off the wheel. Out of control. There's Knox. Mercy, mercy. Some of our fast breaks have been a little rough. Rough? Yes. Off steals. Coles with the ball. 2.56 left. Lions, 16 point lead. He's guarded by Weedle. Off to Unruh. From downtown. Coles can do it. 37-24. Crum. And Knox reaching over the back, gets a foul. Seventh team foul, so 32 will go to the line for a one and one. 229 to go in the half. First personal on Cameron. Kaiser comes in for Lott. Atkins is in the game for 
Zucker. Cuts the lead to 12, 37 to 25. 229 left. First half action. <coughs> Makes them both. Cuts the lead to 11. Come on, Lions. Weedle with the ball. Over to Mortimer. Back to Weedle. For... Yes! 39 26. All right. Yes! I'm glad Mortimer didn't touch that ball. Ill-advised move by the Blue Jay. 2.13 left, Lions with the 13-point lead. Weedle. Charging, yep. Thought he was going to shoot it, then he decided to dish it off, and there was a Blue Jay in his way. First personal, eighth team foul. Minute player 56 left. Player possession, so no free throws. Double out, rims it out. 20 gets it, puts it in. They've cut her down to 11 from 17. Mort has the ball back out to Weedle. Minute 31 left, Mortimer. He's looking. Takes baseline move. Double lot fouls. Yeah, he did. Says Ryan to the line for a double bonus. Let's go, Ryan. We need him. Let's hit him. Let's keep a nice lead here this first half. Mortimer's a 49% free throw shooter. A what? 49%. Oh, my. Well, he made that one. Yep. Frost Lott comes in for 48. Kaiser, and uh, Brandon Crumb came in for Edkins. What a beautiful arena, Dale. Gorgeous. Been here a long time, too. Got them both. 41-28. I played basketball here, too, Dale. Did you? Intramural? Yes. You had that one figured out, didn't you? Okay. I didn't know if the Blue Dragons uh, recruited you or not, right? No, they did not. This was intramurals. All right. What's that going to be? Uh, charging or traveling or something. I don't know. Lions with a 13-point lead. Traveling. Minute 12 left. Must have been traveling. Weedle with the ball. He crosses center court. Dishes off to Crum. And the Knox. Knox he's he's the pocket ball. pick. He puts it up. Oh, it's out. He gets the rebound. Up and in. Yes. What a horse. The moose. He would not be denied. 43-28. 15-point lead by the line. Look at that. Almost a steal here. We're in the last 40 seconds. There's no one in the first four teams, including uh -oh. this one that we're playing, that's played defense like we do today. Go. Mortimer with the quick hands, knocks it out of bounds. 43, 28, 15 point lead. Let's keep her there, Dale Leach, if not more. Coles with the ball. He's their man. He can shoot from downtown. Back out to double zero. Roar ball. Back to Coles. That's who would be the man I think will shoot the three. Eight seconds inside. Nope. They traveled. Puts it up and out. Knox for the rebound. No. Oh. Yes. Lead with the rebound. How about that lucky break for the Lions? Well, something should have gone in there, you think? Wow, they had two chances. They couldn't get her. The end of the first half, folks, 43-28. I like it. I like it. I like it a bunch. See if we can't get some scores somehow and be back.
Okay, folks, here with a little more than a minute to play or go before they start playing. The Lions have 15 point advantage. They outscored the uh, Blue Jays uh, 21 to 13 in that second quarter. Official scoring for the half is Ryan Mortimer with two. Ryan Weedle with 11. Hello Hi, there, Scott Mr. Strassman. Crum with 12. Josh Lott with one. Luke Weedle with six. Cameron Knox with four. 32 has uh, for the Blue Jays has 14. And number 11 has eight for their leading scores for the half. We've got 16 more minutes, Dale. 16 more minutes of hopefully equal, equally good ball as we had the first 16. We're just seconds away, folks, from the start of the second half. Our defensive pressure continues to do its job. Like I say, we had a little sloppiness there uh, off some of the turnovers, but uh, we're getting her done. We're getting her done. We got a 15 point lead, but that could change folks. You got 16 more minutes. See if we can advance to Friday night's game. The Blue Jays will have the possession arrow inbound the ball to begin the third quarter. Hang on, folks. Because here we go. Mr. Small is back. Mr. Small, number 50. Cole. Hello, Alan. No, it ain't over. Alan Adams, class 70 Cole's is here. Small. They're pretty, they're pretty deep. Aurora Bob. Small has it. Ball's being fought for. Cimarron. Oh, 20. Weedle with the ball. He ain't too shabby. We lead by 13. Ryan Mortimer. <laughs> to Brandon Crum. To Weedle from downtown. Off, no good. Cimarron brings it up. They trail by 13. Lot knocks it away. Crown picks it up. Weedle has it. Up to Mortimer. How can that be charging? He did everything he could to get, not run over the guy. Terrible call. Terrible call. Three personals on Ryan. All right. 43-30. Cimarron trying to fight their way back into this game. They get her into Mr. Small. And they get Luke and Weedle for a blocking foul. It's his third. Well, the Blue Jays are starting out with a little flourish here. Yes. Comes Knox for Weedle. That's three on Weedle. Two fouls on the Lions in this quarter. None yet on the Blue Jays. Mr. Small. In. Boy, it's a 10 point lead. It went from 16. Cameron. Short. Lions are flat. Third quarter. In a minute and a half, we lost six points. Campbell with the ball. In the small. Well, Knox has been there banging with the best of them, but they call a foul on him. He had inside, inside position on the rebound attempt. Six minutes, 18 seconds left, third quarter. Third team foul, second person on Cameron. Simron working their way back into this game. 
Mr. Small missed the first one. He'll shoot one more. Try to cut it down into single digits. Obviously, their game plan is going to be working inside. He makes the second. Nine-point lead for the Lions. Weedle with the ball. Crum. Drives. Shoots. Yes. He's as slick as Teflon. Look at that. What a steal. Yeah, and Coles with the foul. <laughs> He's a pickpocket. Keep. He is. He is. I was going to say, hang on to your wallet, Randy, but I know he's too good to guy steal the wallet. So yeah, he he's, would, he's, his hands are well, quick enough he, to do he it. He could have mine. There's nothing <laughs> in it. But, uh, I tell you what. Lions lead by 11. Weedle shoots off the glass. Yes. <laughs> what a shot by a sophomore. Uh-oh. Easy, Josh. Mr. Small. How they just let him continually do that? Yeah. Well, we don't need to throw it away like that. Uh -huh. We don't need to throw it away like that, guys. No reason. Let's dribble the ball up the court. 47-36, 5.33 left. Third quarter action. Traveling. Campbell. No good. Cameron Knox. Joe Zucker. Foul on a Blue Jay. Foul on 20. I think that's about four on him. Nope. Three. Five twelve left. Third quarter action. Lions, 47. 36 for the Blue Jays. Crum from downtown. Short. He fought for his own rebound. Could not get it. Campbell with it. Off to Coles. He's good inside. Yes, he is. He cut, cut her down to nine. Luke Weedles should check in. Now they're really going to work it inside. Try to get number four foul on Mr. Weedle. Of course, Small has three himself, so he can go Who both does? ways. Small has three fouls yeah, himself. Well, he, he should have five the so way he, I count. he can go both ways. Crum with the ball. Weedle. 434 left, third quarter. Weedle, turn around. Yes! Ryan, what a steal. Over to Zucker. Okay, boys, Brandon Crum has it. To Weedle. Easy, boys. Into Luke. Yes! It's 51 38 again. Wow. 51 to 40, 11 point Lion lead, 358 left, third quarter. They got some ball players on that team. That's why they're here in the state tournament. Weedle, he'll shoot from 15. In and out, no good. Coles with the rebound. A lot of reaches and fouls. That was a cheap foul. <laughs> Campbell with the ball. They trail the Lions by 11. No good. Zucker no with the rebound. Good defense on Joe's part. Weedle brings it up. Yes! The kid's a natural-born shooter. 
Lions with a 13-point lead. It was 16 at half. 3.06 left, third quarter. Coles will shoot three. Luke Wade with the steal, and then they call him for traveling. Is there any rumor to the fact that, that uh, there's any fact to the rumor that Mike gave uh, Ryan a basketball right out of the, in the bassinet at the hospital? Well, sounds like a good story. <laughs> That's as good as Jesse James used to use Rock City as a hideout. <laughs> you knew that. No, I never heard that one. That's a legend. Never it, heard that one. 240 left. Lions lead by 13. <laughs> Ryan. Off. A lot of fights for the rebound. He gets away from him. Oh, we could have used her, folks. 225 to go. 5340. Lions. Oh! Is that yeah. charging or what? Josh Lott took, took it for the team. Third team foul, lines at four. Second personal on number 11. He comes out. Two minutes, 21 seconds left. Third quarter action. Lions lead by 13. Weedle brings the ball up across the center court. Dishes it off to Crum. Crum's Kick. pass is kicked out. Kicked by a Blue Jay. Two oh nine, third quarter. We got ten minutes left in this ball game, folks. Weedle has the ball. Off to Zucker. Over. Crum has it. He thought about it. He does. Yes. Foul it. And he's fouled. A well, two point shot. He stepped over the line. Thank you, Mr. Number 12. Four fouls apiece now. 55-14, the Lions have about got all their lead back that they had to start. 157 to go, third quarter. Yes. I have increased it up to 16 now. Blue Jays break half court. Hey. Bad pass by a Blue Jay. A minute 42 left, third quarter. Lions with a 16 point lead. Weedle, the sophomore, brings it up. Over the lot. To Zucker. Crum, no, Small gets the rebound, darn it. Minute 18, I would like to run some more time off the clock, Dale. Oh, Josh Bell got another one, didn't he? Ryan knocks it away, Crum picks it up. Yes, he uses the glass like a champion. And now the ball belongs to the Lions. Stepped the Blue Jays have come undone. Apparently stepped over the line. Yes. I didn't see it. Timeout. Blue Jays trailing by 18. 58 seconds to go in the half. The Lions have the ball. And the Blue Jays are stunned. Like when they run into a window yep. at your house, they're stunned.
The Lions were had at one time a nine-point lead, Dale. Now they've increased her back to 18. We had it 15, down the nine. Now it's up to 18. We, re, we are definitely a team of spurts. Big crowd from Minneapolis here tonight, no doubt about it. Go Lions! Both teams take the court. Crum looking, he finds Lott, who finds Mortimer back to Weedle. 54 seconds left. Third quarter action. Crum from downtown. Woo! Yes! 61 to 40, 40 seconds to go in the third quarter. Smalls backing up over Weedle. Crum with the rebound. Up to Mortimer. Mort, yes, and he's fouled, baby. We're talking about a 23 point lead. Kaiser is set to come in the game. Knox is going to come in. Lott goes out. Luke Wheeler goes out. Ryan Wheeler goes out. Atkins comes in. We're talking about 63 to 40, Mr. Leach. Up from nine. They whittled it down the nine. Yes, right. they did. Kaboom, we exploded. Morton couldn't hit that one. 25 seconds left, guys, come on. Let's keep that 23 point lead. Take it in the fourth quarter. Shoots. Oh, Atkins oh. fouls him. He'll get it for three, three free throws. With 1.4 ticks on the clock. Atkins fouled. The old southpaw. Speaking of the Blue Dragons, I watched Slina the other night, watched them play Barton County. They lost, didn't they? S saw our old nemesis. Uh, Mr. Pruitt. Mr. Pruitt out there. How'd he do? Uh, no points. Uh, played about 10 minutes, I guess. Got a few fouls. He, uh, did he did long he? curly hair. Got a beard. You wouldn't, you know, doesn't look like same old. Uh, yeah. Fruit. Did he act like he belonged on the on the? He did. He didn't. Uh, he was shoving around with the best of them and taking the shoves. And uh, I was. Uh, and some of the Hutch people said they're real happy with him. I guess he had a high of 18 one time. But... Oh! oh! <laughs> he had a high of 18 points one time this year. 63 to 42, Lions lead by 21 with eight minutes left in the that game. That would have been ESPN highlight film, folks. <laughs> Woo! Oh. We're on. We're on. It's going to take a heck of a comeback to e erase a 21-point deficit against a team like the Lions, Dale. More than I think the Blue Jays have. If we lay down a die, they might, but uh, I don't see it happening. But I suppose crazier things have happened in this world. Can't let up. Sixty three to forty two. Oh, scored of twenty to fourteen. Hundredth anniversary of MHS basketball, and we're at the state tournament. Very special. And I 
uh, and trying not to be biased with the most impressive team I've seen today. Burlington, the number one seed, is very impressive, but none of them have played defense like we do. Folks, we have eight minutes left. We have a 21-point lead. Trace Creed, Dale Leach, bringing you this game on cable. Channel 37, MCTV, Galaxy Cable Vision. Where you get CBS. Weedle's guarded by Mr. Smothers. There's a foul on Campbell. Where you get CBS TV and the uh, NCAA tournament. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Unlike some of the uh, direct TV. Have you heard oh, about yeah, that? Oh, yeah, I read about that. <laughs> Maybe we got a better cable system than I thought. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, oh, come on, Luke. Luke's a 57% free throw shooter. He made one of them. There is a 22-point lead. Oh, look at that. Stolen. You know, I have seen kids rolling around all over the place tonight. No traveling called yeah it's i never i can't figure out how they determine when yeah. traveling occurs that's a loud kind of call i don't mind saying it if i could write a letter to his mom i would and josh or luke is going to get caught for a foul i don't know which Josh Lott gets foul number three. 7.30 to go number in the contest. Number three foul on Lott. We got a 22-point lead. Campbell. Small gets it. A little bit of him goes a long way as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, it does. There's Crum. Off no good. Weedle blocked. Foul on Coles. Stops the clock with 7.14. Alan Adams, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm loving this. All right. I'll see you Friday night for sure. All righty. Alan Adams, class of 1970. Wesley Hillsborough. MHS alum basketball alumnus. Luke made the first one. He'll shoot one more. 65-44, 7.14. Now is a zebra. Oh, no good. Mortimer with the rebound. How about that? You knew Allen was the Look zebra. Look at Weedle. Whoosh! Kaboom! Did you know Allen was a zebra, Trace? Allen was a zebra. He's Alan's official. Allen's a zebra, yep. Uh -huh. Well, four or five, he's hit that. oh, at least, Allen. He's... He traveled! Well, time out. Somebody. I don't know who. 641. Lions with a 22 point lead. If we win, we play Friday night at uh, uh, 815. 8, 815. So I won't have to get off early and disrupt my boss's schedule. <laughs> Well, you wouldn't want to do that anyway. You might miss selling some cars. And I do live on commission. If any of you out there feel sorry for me, come down, buy a car from me at Bennett's. It'll be all right. Nobody ever feels sorry for a salesperson. You, you do or don't? Nobody ever feels sorry for a no, salesperson. No, no, no. Especially a car salesman. We have, uh, nation, na nationally, we have a bad reputation somehow. <laughs> Crum with the ball. Oh, he was fouled. Well, he had his pocket picked. Oh, Lot picked it back. Brandon Crum. 624 left. 22 point lead by the Lions. It's looking good, Dale Leach. Yes, it is. Looks like we'll have at least if two more. Red Arbach, would you light the cigar up yet? Yeah, yeah, I think I would. We got at least two more games coming now. Crum from 19, in and out, no good. Campbell with the rebound. Off to Coles. Hey, 
Well. And who are they calling for a foul? Eleven. We're out in eleven. Thirty-two. Brandon Crum gets a second. Seventh team foul. One and one coming up. Sixty-eight forty-seven. He got the bounce. Cuts the lead to 20. Mortimer with the ball. Josh Lott. Yes! Pretty play. Woo! What a play by a senior. Lions, man to man. Coles. Off no good there. Wheeler with the rebound. Number four called for a foul. 5.46 to go in the game. 70 to 48 is the score. I'm only going to say this once, okay? Say it once. It's time for Cimarron to start the bus. Yeah. They might as well warm it up. Yeah. They're done. <laughs> Weedle. Hits them both. Look at that, folks. Not that we don't want to be gracious hosts or anything like that. By no means. We are gracious hosts. Good sportsman. But Seven time to start the bus. Two to 48. And there's the time not to. Huh? Oh, it's hard. oh, yeah, he watches quite a few of our games. Oh, four years ago? Yeah, well, living in Ellsworth, he stays pretty. Yeah. He, living in Ellsworth, he's able to. He comes up for games every now and then and keeps tabs on us. No line drive <laughs> I didn't bring your DVD because I didn't think you were going to be here tonight. I, I thought you said Friday. Yeah, I just took the day off. I said, yeah. Well, good. Friday's good. I'll be back. All right. We're going, we're flying in the night. Oh, are you? Okay. <laughs> Where do you live at? Garden City. I thought you was out back. I'm 30 miles from this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cimarron with the ball. Full court pressure by the Lions. Yeah. Charging. Number four pushed off. Yeah. Frustration has sunk in to a Blue Jay. Lot. Crum. Yes. Five twenty-three left. Lions twenty-seven point lead. A lot, almost with a steal. And they get Luke Weedle for a foul. Luke doesn't see how. I don't know that I do either, but that's the call, nonetheless. Foul number four on Luke. Two shot foul, free throws coming up. He makes the first. Luke Wheel comes up, big six foot seven Luke. He's got more basketball to play, Dale Leach. Yes. We need some real good basketball out of him these next two games. Coles. Misses a second. Knox with the rebound. Out to Crum. To Mortimer. 
Well, 4.58 left. That was a little razzle-dazzle that got away from the Lions. And Knox fouls small on a shot attempt. Eighth team foul. Should be the third or fourth personal, third on Knox. Ninth team foul, excuse me. Small gets two free throws. He'll shoot one more. 75-49, Lions by 26. It's out again. Well, Lot with a rebound. Out to Weedle. Weedle has the ball. Over to Crum. He thought about it. In the moose. He's, He's fouled, fouled by Mr. Small. He gets foul number four. I think frustration has sent sunk in there, Dale. Well, you know, it is. Yeah, when you're a good team and you when you're sub state and you come in here and you're almost 30 points down, it has to yeah. be frustrating. Yes. In intramurals, in, when I was in, in grade school, I cried when we lost. <laughs> yeah. That's how bad I took it. And I never got to play either. <laughs> I still cried. Well, that bench hurts. Huh? That bench hurts. Oh, it does. Those, those, wooden, those wooden benches. I mean, First thing football put on all that gear just to take it back off. <laughs> Never see it play. Why, I said. That's what the coach said. Why are you out here? Knox. 438 left. Run, Clark, run. Colt. Thirty-three gets his name in the paper. That was an easy bucket. And the uh, Cimarron has ten fouls, so Ryan will shoot two. Seventy-six fifty-one. We're continuing our twenty-point winning performance here. Twenty-point average. Rims out for Ryan. 4.20 to go in the game. Ryan Mortimer set to come in. He makes the second. Kaiser's in the game. Mortimer replaces Ryan Weedle. Very good game played by that young man tonight. Need a lot more good ones out of him in the next two games. He's known Mr. Weedle as Jack the Ripper. He comes in, what's he do, Dale? He rips him. Rips, rips her heart out. out. Crumb. And Crumb just yep. exhibited his thievery talents again. He'll go to the line for two. Missed the layup. Lions. Are going to win this game. They're going to play Friday night and they'll play Saturday one way or the other. Crumb, yes. 78, 79, 51. Brandon Crumb goes out. I'll tell you, for a junior, the kid's a ball player. He's as cool as the other side of your pillow. Mortimer's in, Zucker's in. Ryan Weedle's back in. Coles is moving the ball fast. Whoops. And Ryan, will pick, Ryan picks up a foul. I'm in favor of the clock running. Yeah, four minutes to go. It's 79-51.
Tell you what, Friday night there won't be anybody left in Minneapolis. Oh, there better not be. Well, my dog, he'll be there. What kind of dog you got, Trace? German Shepherd. Oh. He's mean. Not to me, but Kaiser. Oh, stolen. Mortimer tried to force a pass in there. Oh. Knox gets foul number four. Jumping up for a steal. And uh, 32 tried to claim the space. Campbell Connect. What's your favorite Campbell soup? Tomato. Tomato? Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Not with water, with milk. With milk, I see, okay. What do they call that, uh, de creme? Mortimer with the ball. Knox. Weedle from downtown. Whoosh! Eighty-two, fifty-four. Eight. Mortimer with a steal. They get it back. A thirty-two isn't going to be denied. I tell you. <laughs> well. Two fifty-five left. The only thing we wonder what the final score will be because it's going to be a lion victory in the state tournament, folks. Campbell. He's a ball player, Dale. Yeah. He'll be playing ball somewhere next year. Weedle. Twenty-three point lion lead, two twenty-five left. Weedle lost it out of bounds. Now here comes some substitutes. Crossing, crossing, Resnick and Atkins. How Two about 19 it, to go. Joe Zucker remains in. Eighty-two to fifty-nine. Small works on Drew Crossing. Traveling. <clears throat> yeah, He's big a traveling fella. man. You know who sang that song? I do. That's about all I remember. Ricky Nelson. Oh, oh, that's right. We have Ozzy and Harriet. Are you with me? Yep, yep. Mr. Handsome. Oh, now, up the look that went off the foot of number 12 there, but I guess not. Now, Trevor, I realize, is a sophomore. He's had kind of a rough game, Dale. Yeah. But it's all learning experience. Two minutes left. Oh, look at Mr. Zucker. Oh, what? What? What a sellout. What an effort. My Joe goodness. Joe Zucker for president. Uh, Mr. Hustle. We have several of those on this team. Zucker with the ball. He's quick. To Alex Resnick. Yes! Alex got his name in the paper. 84-59. Oh. Well, uh, Joe tried to ride up the back of the heels of that guy there. Tried to keep his shoes in one location and let his feet go in another. Yeah, he just ran over like a freight train there. 84 59, 25 point for the Lions lead. Eighty four sixty. The little blue jay down there, he don't look as happy as he's he did not earlier. chirping very much, is he? 
His feathers have shrunk. Minute 40 left. Zucker gets it up to Atkins. Yeah! yeah. Drew Crossland for two, 86 61. He wasn't afraid of being no. small. He looked him right in the eye. Well, then Mr. Small did it to him. Yeah. It's kind of like the Cold War between the United hard to States. Claim, Who blinked first? It's kind of hard to claim your turf when that guy's backing up over you. Well, I mean, I don't get how come he, he gets by with that continuously. There goes a fine basketball player, 32. What was his name, Camel? Yes. Fine basketball player. A uh, horrible way to end a senior year. They simply got beat by a better team. Yeah. 86-63. Small goes out. 115 to go. It's 86-64. Lions carrying a 22-point lead. Zucker. Pushes it up hard to Atkins. A minute six, 66 seconds left. About to write the time to write this one in the books. Get her in, Trevor. Let's go. Win Joe. number 22. Tyler Crossan goes the line for two. He's fouled on the sh shot attempt. He saw his cousin score. He wanted to. Yeah. Well, he hasn't got it in the score book yet, Dale. He didn't. No. Oh. Drew fights with the rebound. Wow. Tyler rescues it. Joe Zucker has it. 48 seconds left. He's fouled. There's no reason for um, uh, Cimarron to keep this up. They're just. Well, you got fresh uh, faces out there. They got their playing time to put in, too. They've been sitting on the bench all this time. Well, but that's when I used to get in the game, and and, uh, and I didn't want to just foul right off the bat. I'd be back on the bench. 87-64. You got to love this team, folks. One of the finest in Minneapolis high school history. We love them. We love them. Thirty-two seconds left, folks. We're going to play Friday night semifinal for the, the state steal. tournament. Can you dig it? Twenty-three seconds to go. Okay, Lions. Let's just take the air out of it. Eighty-seven, sixty-four. Joe. Folks, that's the end of the ball game right now. They didn't get her. The final score, 87-64. Dale Leach, the Lions like advance to the semifinals against the winner of the Hillsboro Frontenac game that comes up next. I love it, Trace. I love it. The Lions have dominated from the get-go, basically. Yep. Hung on. Any challenge at... 23-point victory to continue their 20 average win over the opponents. Whew, what a game. 
what, what you, I did game. a lot of pacing. I think I wore a pair of shoes out up here. <laughs> Will the linebackers <laughs> reimburse me? Oh, you get, yeah, the paint. Yes, but there's new paint in here too, Trace. No. You wore the paint off the cement. Well. 87 to 64, the final score. We scored 24 that quarter. They scored 22. Scoring by quarter throughout the game. Lions 21, 22 to 15. First quarter, 20 to 14 in the second quarter. No, excuse me, 22 to 15, first quarter, 21, 13, second quarter, 20 to 14 in the third quarter, and in the final quarter stanza, we outscored 24 to 22 for the final result of 87 to 64. We'll be back with some, well, at least unofficial scoring shortly unless you got something else to say well dale all i want to say was a heck of a game congratulations to the lions and i'll be back friday night all right <clears throat> okay lions fans scoring here in the game from the official scoring table the leaders for uh the cimarron blue jays number 32 had 22 points number 11 had 15 and number 50 small had 15. Scoring for the Lions, number four, Mortimer had four. Uh, five, who's five? Can't remember, had two. Ryan Weedle had 27. Uh, two is Kaiser, I think. Crum had 31 to lead the Lions tonight in double scoring figure. We were Luke, Ryan Weedle had 27. Josh Lott had three. Luke Weedle had 12. Cameron Knox had five. And there's another, oh, 14. 14 had one. Five had two. I think that's Drew Crossan, isn't it? And 14 had one. I just don't know all the numbers on the bench players yet. But an exciting contest tonight. No uh, coach's corner this evening. It's kind of hard here in the arena to get where we need to be. But uh, quite an exciting game. We'll be back Friday night at 8.30 for the semifinal contest. Again, against the winner of the Hillsboro Trojans and Frontenac. Dale Leach, Trace Cree signing off for the MHS linebackers on Channel 37, MCTV, Galaxy Cablevision.